Slavery in China has taken various forms throughout history. Slavery was reportedly abolished as a legally recognized institution, including in a 1909 law fully enacted in 1910, although the practice continued until at least 1949. Topic: History of slavery in China. Topic: <laughs> Shang Dynasty, 2nd millennium BC. The earliest evidence of slavery in China dates to the Shang Dynasty when, by some estimates, approximately 5% of the population was enslaved. The Shang Dynasty engaged in frequent raids of surrounding states, capturing slaves who would be killed in ritual sacrifices. Scholars disagree as to whether these victims were also used as a source of slave labor. Warring States period 475 to 221 BC The Warring States period saw a decline in slavery which had been popular in the previous centuries The slave system had shifted to a feudal system despite this slavery was still widespread during the period despite being on the decline since the introduction of private ownership of land in the state of Lu in 594 BC, which brought a system of taxation on private land, and saw the emergence of a system of landlords and peasants, the system of slavery began to decline over the following centuries, as other states followed suit. <laughs> Qin Dynasty 221 BC. The Qin government confiscated the property and enslaved the families as punishment. Topic: <inaudible> Han Dynasty 206 BC to 220 AD. One of Emperor Gao's first acts was to manumit agricultural workers enslaved during the Warring States period. Although domestic servants retained their status, men punished with castration during the Han Dynasty were also used as slave labor. Deriving from earlier legalist laws, the Han Dynasty set in place rules that the property and families of criminals doing three years of hard labor or sentenced to castration were to have their families seized and kept as property by the government. Topic: Xin Dynasty, 9 to 23 AD. In the year AD 9, the Emperor Wang Mang usurped the Chinese throne and instituted a series of sweeping reforms, including the abolition of slavery and radical land reform. Slavery was reinstated in AD 12 before his assassination in AD 23. Topic. Three Kingdoms 220 to 280 AD. During the Three Kingdoms period, a number of statuses intermediate between freedom and slavery developed, but none of them are thought to have exceeded 1% of the population. Topic: <laughs> Tang Dynasty 618 to 907 AD. Tang law forbade enslaving free people, but allowed enslavement of criminals and foreigners. Free people could however willingly sell themselves. The primary source of slaves came from southern tribe and young slave girls were the most desired on the market. Although various officials such as Kong Kui, the governor of Guangdong, banned the practice, the trade continued. Other peoples sold to Chinese included Turks, Persians, and Korean women, who were sought after by the wealthy. On the Silk Road slave girls were a major item and much more expensive than silk. Silk was up to five times less than the value of a slave girl. Central Asian slave girls were exported from Central Asia Iranian areas to China. It is believed that the wealthy merchants and aristocratic noblemen of the Chinese capital of Chang'an were the consumers for the huge amount of Central Asian slave women brought by the Sogdians to China to sell to the Chinese. The Central Asian foreign women in the Sogdian owned wine shops in the Chinese capital are also believed to have been slaves since Chinese poets depicted them as homesick, sad, and melancholy, and they would serve as travelers by keeping them company overnight. Merchants and literati would frequent the wine shops. 
The Sogdians reaped massive profits from selling slave girls and so did the Chinese government by taxing the sale of the slaves. Slave girls were one of the major products Chinese bought from Sogdians. Persian poets often wrote about wine and women since the wine servers were often girls and this wine culture with girl servers seems to have spread to China. There were many Sogdian wine shops and Persian shops in Chang'an along with a large slave market. The wine shops were staffed with young girls who served wine to customers and danced for them. Most of the slave girls were 14 or 15 years old. They provided services like sex, dancing, singing, and served wine to their customers in Chang'an as ordered their masters who ran the wine shops. A Sogdian merchant, Kong Yi Kong Wei Yi had Indians, Central Asians, and Tokaristanis Bactrians among the 15 slave girls he was bringing to sell in the Chinese capital of Chang'an. Topic: Song Dynasty 960-1279 AD. The Song's warfare against northern and western neighbors produced many captives on both sides, but reforms were introduced to ease the transition from bondage to freedom. Topic: <laughs> Yuan Dynasty 1271 to 1368 AD. The Yuan dynasty expanded slavery and implemented harsher terms of service. In the process of the Mongols' invasion of China proper, many Han Chinese were enslaved by the Mongols' rulers. According to Japanese historian Sugiyama Masaki Shan Shan Zheng Ming and Funada Yoshiyuki, Chuan Tian Shan Ji there were also certain number of Mongolian slaves owned by Han Chinese during Yuan. Moreover, there is no evidence that Han Chinese suffered particularly cruel abuse. Korean girls kept as servants during the Yuan dynasty by northerners, which was recorded in a historic text. The Kaomuzi Saomuzi by Yi Ziki, Yi Zi Qi, which was cited by the Jingxi Oji, Jing Shi Oji Yin by Chai Sang, Chai Sang stated that during the Yuan dynasty that Korean girls were a must have property for northerners. Yuan Chao Bei Ren Nu Shi Bai Dei Gao Li, Korean women were viewed as having Jade snow, like skin. Ji fu yu shui fa yun wu by Hao Jing Seng Hao Jing Sen, a Yuan scholar, and it was the rage to own Korean women among northerners in the Yuan dynasty, as mentioned in Togen Timur's Shundi Shundi Shu Zizi Tongjin. Shu Zizi Tongjian Jing Shi Da Guan Gui Ren by Dei Gao Li Nu Ran Hu Wei Ming. Topic Ming Dynasty, thirteen sixty eight to sixteen forty four A D. The Hung Wu Emperor sought to abolish all forms of slavery but in practice, slavery continued through the Ming Dynasty. The Javans sent 300 black slaves as tribute to the Ming Dynasty in 1381. When the Ming Dynasty crushed the Miao rebellions in 1460, they castrated 1,565 Miao boys, which resulted in the deaths of 329 of them. They turned the survivors into eunuch slaves. The Guizhou governor who ordered the castration of the Miao was reprimanded and condemned by Emperor Yingzong of Ming for doing it once the Ming government heard of the event. Since 329 of the boys died, they had to castrate even more. On 30 January 1406, the Ming Yongle emperor expressed horror when the Ryukyuans castrated some of their own children to become eunuchs in order to give them to Yongle. Yongle said that the boys who were castrated were innocent and didn't deserve castration, and he returned the boys to Ryukyu and instructed them not to send eunuchs again. Later Ming rulers, as a way of limiting slavery because of their inability to prohibit it, passed a decree that limited the number of slaves that could be held per household and extracted a severe tax from slave owners. Topic: <laughs> Qing Dynasty 1644 to 1912 AD. The Qing dynasty initially oversaw an expansion in slavery and states of bondage like the Booi Aha. They possessed about two million slaves upon their conquest of China. However, like previous dynasties, the Qing rulers soon saw the advantages of phasing out slavery, and gradually introduced reforms turning slaves and serfs into peasants. Laws passed in 1660 and 1681 forbade landowners from selling slaves with the land they farmed and prohibited physical abuse of slaves by landowners. The Kangxi Emperor freed all the Manchus' hereditary slaves in 1685. The Yangzheng Emperor's Yangzheng Emancipation 
Between 1723 and 1730 sought to free all slaves to strengthen his authority through a kind of social leveling that created an indifferentiated class of free subjects under the throne, freeing the vast majority of slaves. The abolition of slavery in many countries following the British emancipation led to increasing demands for cheap Chinese laborers, known as coolies. Mistreatment ranged from the near slave conditions maintained by some crimps and traders in the mid 1800s in Hawaii and Cuba to the relatively dangerous tasks given to the Chinese during the construction of the Central Pacific Railroad in the 1860s. Among his other reforms, Taiping Rebellion leader Hong Shochuan abolished slavery and prostitution in the territory under his control in the 1850s and 1860s. Slavery exists in China, especially in Canton and Peking. I have known a male slave. He is named Wang and is a native of Kansu, living in Kui Cho in the house of his original master's son, and with his own family of four persons acknowledged to me that he was a slave, Nu Pu. He was a person of considerable ability, but did not appear to care about being free. Female slaves are very common all over China, and are generally called Ya Tio Yu Ya Tu. Slave girl, a female slave. Slave girls are very common in China. Nearly every Chinese family owns one or more slave girls generally bought from the girl's parents, but sometimes also obtained from other parties. It is a common thing for well-to-do people to present a couple of slave girls to a daughter as part of her marriage dowry. Nearly all prostitutes are slaves. It is, however, customary with respectable people to release their slave girls when marriageable. Some people sell their slave girls to men wanting a wife for themselves or for a son of theirs. I have bought three different girls, two from Shu Chuan for a few tails each, less than $15. One I released in Tientsin, another died in Hong Kong, the other I gave in marriage to a faithful servant of mine. Some are worth much money at Shanghai. Topic: 20th century. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s the Yi people also known as Nuosu of China terrorized Sichuan to rob and enslave non-Nuosu including Han people. The descendants of the Han slaves, known as the White Yi, Bai Yi outnumbered the Black Yi, he Yi aristocracy by 10 to 1. There was a saying goes like, The worst insult to a Nuosu is to call him a Han, with the implication being that your ancestors were slaves. 